Roswell Flight Test Crew here at the Commercial UAV Expo 2022 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm talking to Armin Koulian over here at the Drone Delivery Canada booth. How are you doing, Armin? Patrick, I'm doing well. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. Thanks. Now, I stopped by your booth because, well, you've got a helicopter sitting here. It's amazingly cool. Is it a drone? Tell me what's going on here. It is absolutely a drone. Uh, it's our biggest drone in our fleet, uh, and we're proud to say that it's an unmanned aircraft. Uh, we build it ourselves, we buy the shell, we build it ourselves. Uh, but it is the star feature of the show. It's probably the biggest drone that exists today uh, that we're flying in North America, and we're very proud of it, and we're looking forward to bringing it to the, to the market very soon. <laughs> So now, did this start out as, a, as an uncrewed aircraft, or what's, it, what's the background of the airframe itself? So it's, it's actually a manned helicopter, and what we do is we buy the shell from a vendor, and then we transform it to an unmanned helicopter. Now, lots of things to ask about at first, but the first one in aviation, we always talk about safety. And, and, and this is not a DJI Phantom 4. When this thing's coming in for a landing, and especially imagining it's, you're not flying line to sight with this thing, it's gonna go a long distance. How do you avoid what we will call severe decapitation danger when this thing's coming in for a landing at some remote site? Yeah, so we're probably gonna be using this at the start in very rural uh, environments. Uh, not too many people there. so. A lot of organizations, like mining organizations and oil and gas organizations, want to use it for their businesses. Uh, and basically, it's their land, and they want to be used it to uh, deliver cargo back and forth. So in terms of decapitating anybody, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> to answer your question. <laughs> well, that's good. That's probably very good. Yeah. But so, okay, so now let's talk about its mission. So it's, it's delivery. How much can it carry? How far can it carry it? All that good stuff. So it could carry up to 400 pounds, uh, 180 kilograms, and it, it's going to travel roughly about 125 miles or 200 kilometers. Amazing. And I suppose it goes without saying, I mean, especially given the hardware we see there, this is gasoline powered. Um, what, what does the control schema look like? Well, in terms of control scheme, I mean, we're looking at a 92 octane gasoline engine. Uh, it's a two stroke engine, roughly about 80 to 90 horsepower. Uh, and essentially, we are controlling this directly from our uh, uh, operational control center using our proprietary software called Flight FLYTE and our pilots in command at the control center have full control of the helicopter that's flying autonomously from point to point. Now, and I don't know about Canada, but from a United States perspective, this is clearly what we call beyond visual line of sight. So we're, we're, for the, we're, not, we're not there from a regulatory perspective quite yet, but you can see where this is gonna be um, you know, big down the road. Yeah. It's absolutely gonna be useful down the road. In the beginning, I think we're gonna use it at a shorter ranges, just to kind of prove the concept, a crawl, walk, run approach, to demonstrate to the regulator that it's safe to fly, it, even though our pilots in command are far away from our operation control center. But at the end of the day, we're gonna push the boundaries and we wanna go and hit that 200 kilometers fully unmanned autonomous. Well, it's a, it's a remarkable achievement and it's just sort of a breathtaking presence here at the show. So Armin, thank you so much for taking the time to tell us about it. Thank you so much, Patrick. <laughs> Pleasure. All right. And from Commercial UAV Expo 2022 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off.